Hey everybody, it's Vinny. Welcome back to the kitchen. Here is my... Children just broke something. Be right back. Alright, we're back. This is the second part of my Christmas... Uh, birthday gift from my loving mother. I'm a mama's boy, I swear to God. It is Food Network product. It is a Dutch oven. It's a cast iron Dutch oven. But it's not a traditional cast iron Dutch oven in the sense that it is coated on the inside with ceramic. Which makes cleaning easy as hell. I mean, it's a decent ceramic coating on both the lid and the inside of the Dutch oven. The outside is uh, still that, you know, that traditional cast iron feel and it is hefty but that's what you would expect for cast iron uh, this is my first Dutch oven I've ever had no pun intended I hear people laughing already yes I hear you so I'm gonna make beef stew in this in the future and you'll see that video I'm actually gonna probably just do a Food Network recipe on it and you know walk you through it and see how it comes out it's a decent size, it's a six quart uh, Dutch oven, so we could do a lot with this. The best part is, is you could put it in the oven. So you do your sauteing and simmering on the stove, throw the whole thing in the oven, and bam, you're done. But all in all, it seems like a really well built thing. I mean, how hard, it's cast iron, so oh, it seems kind of difficult to mess that up. And I do like the ceramic coating on the inside again easier cleanup and the knob it's mounted on there really well I mean for a single screw I have a feeling because I'm trying to jiggle it I have a feeling there's either a lock washer in there or they probably put some Loctite on there to hold it in place it is dishwasher safe so when you take it out of the box it's best that you do wash it because you will have some uh, residue from the casting in the factory on there and you should wash everything before you use it in the first place but We'll see how this thing works out, and you'll see that video when it comes up. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and of course, stay tuned for the next video.